Hey, welcome back to the Mods YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn about clouds. Hey, welcome back to the Museum of Discovery and Science. We're here in our science park. My name's Michael. This is Brady, our mad scientist. Today, we've got a treat for you. We are going to actually make a cloud. Now, I know a lot of people are like, well, clouds are up in the sky, and that is true. But we're going to make one down here. We're also going to create a very large explosion at the same time. So right behind me, we've got some liquid nitrogen. We've got some hot water. Now, Brady, what can you tell me about liquid nitrogen? So liquid nitrogen is the liquid version of nitrogen, which is the most abundant gas in our atmosphere. In its liquid form, it is about 320 degrees below zero. So it's one of the coldest things that we uh, have access to here on Earth. Probably not something I should touch with my hand, right? Probably not. As you can see, Land back here, who is our cloud-making specialist, is wearing very heavy, productive gloves. Now, uh, in order to protect his skin from your Now, to do this experiment, um, I'm noticing that we also need some really hot water. Yes. So, so what can you tell me about the temperature difference between the hot water and like the nitrogen? Right. So, our only two ingredients for this experiment are uh, nitrogen, which is 320 degrees below zero, and some hot water, which I would say is probably about 100, 110 degrees, uh, not quite boiling, but uh, hot enough to maybe bring some tea. So, there's about over 400 degrees difference between the liquid nitrogen and the liquid water. Okay, and so when we mix something that's really hot and really cold, what, what generally tends to happen? I mean, we live in Florida, right? Don't hot and yeah. cold always hit each other? Yeah, so usually what would happen, like sometimes when you have like a, a cold air front coming through and some hot air coming through, you'll see like a big uh, condensed uh, cloud of fog coming over the city, things like that. Uh, they'll react in very different ways, uh, pretty much repelling from each other, uh, creating fog and a lot of mist. Not sure. When there's that extreme difference, uh, that cloud can form in a very somewhat extreme manner. And so that would give us like really bad thunderstorms yeah. or even like hurricanes here with us, right? Yes. So I think we really wanted to see what this experiment looks like. So I think in order to start, what's the first thing we have to do? So the first thing Rand is going to do is he's going to take this entire container of liquid nitrogen and he's going to pour it into this garbage can. So just pouring negative 320 degree cold stuff, nitrogen, right it's into the garbage can. You can already see some fog forming because again, liquid nitrogen is 320 degrees below zero. And our atmosphere here in Florida today is probably about 80 degrees. So there's about 400 degrees difference between the liquid nitrogen in the air. So the liquid nitrogen is immediately evaporating. And as that yeah. cold air hits the hot air, it's already creating some fog. And now what, what we're gonna add really hot water yeah. into this if something is gonna happen. Yeah. Should we be standing next to this or should we maybe We should maybe not be this? standing okay. right, right next to it, but what Land's gonna do is he's going to take the water jug and slam it down into the garbage can. And the garbage can just won the Super Bowl. that is occurring inside of here. So we hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. We want to thank FPNL who sponsored this today. And if you liked what you saw, drop a subscribe below.